welcome to the WRFL Insider. My name is Kristen. I'm here with the captain of North Footscray. Sam, welcome. Thank you. Last year was a disappointing end to your season. How, looking back at that, how does it make you feel and does that result sort of motivate you this year? Uh, yeah, definitely. Obviously, it was a disappointing year, finishing top of the ladder and then going out on straight sets, losing the first semi, I guess, by a kick in the end, mm -hmm. kicking 10 points in the last quarter and mm -hmm. not getting over the line and then getting absolutely rolled in the prelim. Um, yeah, it was a very disappointing end of the year, so looking forward to uh, what this year can, can involve. Is playing in another grand final this year the expectation or goal? Um, well, I assume it's obviously the goal, finishing yeah. top last year. Um, the winners last year have gone up, so it leaves, I guess, Yarraville and us now, as you can assume, as the top couple of sides that will be pushing for that. So that's uh, obviously going to be our aim, yeah. And how has pre-season been going? Uh, yeah, very good so far. We, uh, we had quite a few sessions before Christmas, then we had actually quite a bit of a break and didn't come back until Monday after Australia Day. Mm -hmm. So we're getting some good numbers down there now, um, getting a bit of, I guess, game practice in. We've got a bye round one, so we've got three practice matches in March, and... Uh, that should get us going into the season. Is there any young players we should be looking out for this year? Um, yeah, there's a few few kids coming up from, I guess, the juniors that uh, will hopefully push into the side this year and uh, be pretty exciting. A couple of Verano young kids are uh, pretty exciting and also uh, Josh Moore. Uh, he's a big six-foot-three guy, um, mm. about 90 kilos, and uh, he's just down at the club last year and uh, he's really tearing up the track at the moment, so looking forward to see what he can do. Well, good luck this season. Thank you very much.